Hi everyone, my name is Kenny Hammond and I'm a strength and conditioning coach here in Arizona. I train powerlifters and over the past two weeks one subject matter kept coming up more than any other subject and that is the bow tie knee wrap. Today a good friend of mine and a legend in the sport, Blaine Stussy, wanted me to put together this little tutorial on how to properly wrap the knee using the bow tie wrap but also explaining the benefits as to why this is the only way you really should wrap knees. So today we are going to be using a standard Inzer Gripper Wrap. We are in Inzer House. We use nothing but Inzer products. We feel Inzer is the best. They were the first on the scene. And when it comes to powerlifting, Inzer is powerlifting. So here's the technique. Before you start, whether you wrap your own knees or somebody else is wrapping your knees for you, you always start with a hand width slack at the top of the knee. So this is how to start. Grab a hand width slack and where the bottom of your hand is right here, that has to land on top of the knee like this. With the rest of the wrap, wrap it one full time around the slack so it stays put then go behind the knee and start below the knee. Now, a lot of you are thinking, why are you starting from the bottom? Well, if you start at the top and then go back down and then go back up and then you're on your way back down again and you run out of room, well, your material that you have to tie is at the top. So you should start at the bottom and just work your way in one direction going straight up so you're guaranteed to end at the top all the time. So I'm just going to now complete wrapping. I'm not going to wrap tight because I'm just showing you a tutorial. And when you end, it'll look something like this. Okay. Now all you have to do is wrap it. That knot is now exactly where you put the base of your hand when you started. So here's the benefit. Number one, if you take a look at this from the side, this is the top of my knee. Here's my knee. But you notice with all of this extra material, this knot and this extra floppy ears looking thing, can you imagine if you're a judge and you had to look at this mess? It looks higher than the top of your knee, which it actually is. This will allow you to get more white lights because it'll look like you break parallel a lot sooner. Now, I'm not saying to squat high. What I am saying is you should leverage a rule in the rule book. In any federation, there is a clause that says if a judge has any doubt, the benefit goes to the lifter. So if you confuse the judge enough where the top of the knee looks like this, and it's just a big mess, and if you're a fast squatter and you bounce out of that hole during the time he's blinking, well, he has no choice but to give you nothing but white lights. But the last benefit is directly a benefit from the lifter. You see many lifters struggle trying to get their knee wrap off, having it tucked the old way. With this bow tie, you can grab any ear or any material and pull. And just let it go and you have instant relief from the tightest knee wraps that you can give yourself or your handler will give you. These are the two benefits as to why this is the only way I wrap my lifter's knees and this is the only way I've ever wrapped my knees. So if you have any other further questions, feel free to contact Blaine Stussy who will contact me. But until then, wrap your knees, like the bow tie, and watch more white lights and faster knee relief when your legs go numb. Until then, this is Kenny Hammond from Arizona. Take care and live safe.